Hello everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys another doll from my doll collection. This is Betsy McCall, made by American Character in 1958 and 1959. There were many versions of uh, Betsy McCall that were made and I have um, I have quite a few Betsy McCalls. Um, I have uh, one by Ideal and the rest of the ones that I have are from American Character. So I have, this is a 14 inch, I have, um, I have probably three or four of the 8 inch and I think I have two of this size which is the 14 inch and then I have the um, I have the flirty eye. I have two of those, and I've done a video on some of those other dolls already. Um, and then I have a 14 inch um, by Ideal, and I'll be doing a video on that one as well. So this one is made out of uh, vinyl and hard plastic. She's not probably not wearing her original clothing, even though this this dress is is uh, fantastic. It's really cute, very 50s. Um, has little pantaloons that go with it, but I don't believe that this dress is her original. I've never seen um, uh, Betsy McCall in a dress um, like this. So, and it looks like it might be a little bit big in the waist. So, um, even though it's very, very cute, I don't believe it's her original, but this is how I bought her from an antique store. So, I just kind of left her in it. Um, her shoes... Um, I'm not too sure if those belong to her either. They do look a little bit vintage. Uh, the ribbons look a little bit vintage, but I really, I don't know. So um, one other thing too that I thought I would mention to you guys is um, uh, you can see that I tied some ribbon. Um, sometimes when the joints get really loose and this doll has some um, kind of loose hip joints, um, I will kind of tie uh, a little bit of ribbon around the base of the ankle of the doll um, to the stand. And it doesn't hurt the doll because it's ribbon, so it doesn't like leave any weird indentations or any markings or anything. And I, I usually try to use white ribbon so it doesn't discolor the skin because if you use like colored ribbon it might, you know, after time discolor the skin. But um, I've never had an issue with... Uh, with the white ribbon, I've been doing that for years, just to hold them onto the um, onto the stand. So if you ever see that, that's why um, that's why I do that. So um, probably not any original clothing, and I'm not sure about the bow either. Um, it matches the dress, so I never have messed with it. She's in really really good condition. She's um, got uh, some eyelashes. Um, they're not molded, so uh, they're kind of like those uh, normal vinyl eyelashes uh, for dolls. She's got her makeup's pretty good. She's a little bit dirty, not too bad. Um, her hair has never been cut. Um, kind of, I guess, uh, original style. I guess probably she pretty would have had those, uh, maybe those uh, barrettes on the side. Um, but her hair is in pretty good condition. Probably just needs a little bit cleaning and brushing. So yeah, she's in really good shape. Um, really good uh, her joints all work. Everything. There's nothing the matter with this doll. These dolls are. Um, I think the 14 inch um, might be a little bit um, hard to find, and I know that the flirty eye is a little bit hard to find as well. Very cute little doll. And the markings on this doll. Let's see if I can find out. I think it's on the back of her head, maybe? Nope. Maybe it's on her... She's got a whole bunch of little slips on here. Let's see if I can find out where her markings are. She actually does not show any markings. So maybe she's an unmarked doll. Let's see her back. Yeah, nothing, nothing. So, I don't know if, uh, sometimes on vintage dolls, the um, markings get rubbed out. Uh, wait a minute. I think it is on the back of her head. It's just really hard to see. Let's see here. Okay, let's see if I can get that on camera. Oh, probably not, but it's right there on the hairline. 
right there on the hairline and it, my video won't focus. So, um, it does say, <laughs> it's so small, it's like a little circle. It probably says Betsy McCall on there. So, um, it is on the back of her neck, uh, on her head. So, anyway, so this is uh, Betsy McCall. If you like this doll, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you again so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video.